All right, welcome back to the last quadrant of Phantom Hourglass. Dodging some pirates. They're no longer our friends. <laughs> but don't you think that, I don't know, you know, okay, not like a rewards card, but you know, like, have you been to a place where you've <laughs> done a profession before? It's like, hey, man, like, I used to be one of you. Don't you remember? Employee discount. Yeah, it's just like, all right, only blow them up slightly. So starting with that demon prowl, this is a video just full of interesting faces. <laughs> I mean, I do like our little hell ship going on, and then we'll crash <laughs> into the island, and we're here. If you look at the map, you might notice it looks kind of like a face in profile. Huh. Possibly a head that got crushed. Oh, goody. I'll be fixing the ship. I mean, sleeping in my palatial <laughs> bridge. I'll be fixing the ship because I like to break it sometimes. Gives me <laughs> something to do. And that's the last time we'll ever use it. Aww. I think the postcard means occasionally you get treasure in the mail. Yeah, from what I can understand, you don't seem to get anything crucial unless it's, like, beetle-related, but even then, that's still in quotes. Yeah. If that looks like a crown to you. Um, but... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure does! Nintendo localization. We're gonna find his bones in there, aren't we? We're gonna find something. <laughs> this is usually how it goes down. There's like some nicely kept room, and then there's a book that happens to be a journal or a diary, and then you find the person's remains. And then the puzzle was like, oh, dude, you just had to put the triangle into the triangle slot. I'm reading these backwards on purpose. <laughs> As in, I realized that was the final bug and thought, fuck it. <laughs> I guess that's kind of how history works. Like, you, you work your way in from the present into, like, when was this? Well, I don't know. Maybe Pizza Joe thought that he has to read all books from right to left, and that included even if they were, like, in a row. <laughs> I'm feeling around. I think there's a secret around here. Aha. <laughs> I was hitting everywhere except where the hole was. Oh god, this is some kind of hell. <laughs> These are all yeah, yes. <laughs> this is the one challenge that poor people would excel at. <laughs> I have nothing to lose. <laughs> Me especially, I just trudge right through here. <laughs> You're like, "Oh, this is nothing." Come on. God damn it. Oh, that's a 50. Well, hey, they give you a thing that- oh, okay. They have pretty wide hitboxes, it seems. But I like how Pizza Joe just can't stop picking them up, like, he can't just drop <laughs> it, he's just like, Alright, I guess this goes in my bag. They're like like-likes. <laughs> they leap at him. They go into his wallet and then, like, ten rupees just disappear and turn into dust. blown out chimney again. 
Feels like there'd be another secret there, but no. Yeah. Just another room full of nothing but rupors. I feel like the camera angle being like this at an angle is what contributed to me touching the big ones. <laughs> that and plus, you would have to be very careful with the stylus and to have him just walk. So I'm pretty sure it would have been pretty difficult anyway. I think I made up for what I lost, at least. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got it all back. Well, I'm sure one of these bodies was that explorer. <laughs> it was probably him! And he left one green rupee by. I could probably just use the bow and arrow, but I think I'm low on arrows. Somehow this isn't as bad as a root. Okay. Alright, well, we're on the chin. Okay, now I see it. I mean, I do like the ah, that's my favorite part so far. The natural landmass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about me. <laughs> okay, hang on, I can't leap off the stairs just yet. Okay. This looks a lot like one of the stations in Spirit Tracks. Yeah, it kind of... Which is kind of a maze. It kind of does. Also, I'm, I'm really glad I reread that because I read that as the sacred chin grows three times and I was going <laughs> to say, no, it doesn't. The crimson chin! <laughs> Is. It's hard to be exactly accurate because Pizza Joe's steps aren't a single square. I hear boulders. I see them too. This is a place with a lot of hidden cash. I don't think any of them are rupee likes either. Because it'd be mean if they were. It'd be mean, but I would expect it at least a little. Hang on. Need to draw an actual arrow. Weast. <laughs> that looks more like shoot wee. <laughs> Well, if I find him, I guess I'll shoot him. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> you wee. Alright. Just stay right there. And I believe the jars with the bombs and the arrows respawn. And I was empty on both, so I refilled a bit. And bomb shoes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty good respawning room. And with hearts. How did that one guy die? Well, I'm assuming he died. Well, then again, he didn't <laughs> find this, so that, that would explain. He didn't have a shovel, so... Oh! He didn't have a bomb. <laughs> it would be so much better if the keys could die from the boulders. <laughs> Not until they implement a Breath of the Wild physics. The very watery eye. <laughs> Can't stop crying. Because <laughs> of my chin. He's got allergies. <laughs> or no, he's in pain because his chin keeps growing. <laughs> Why won't it stop? 
Gotta go to the edge and actually see the switch over here. Let's kick the skull. <laughs> Kind of interesting, we don't have the sages from Hyrule in this, but Phantom Hourglass has its own sages of a sort. They don't do anything, they're all dead by now, but it's it's a sage. <laughs> well, do they want to come up with names for sages in a dimension that's not Hyrule, Shrug? <laughs> I am the sage. Most of the words have been... Ah! <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's hard to tell what their invincibility frames are, how they're actually dodging, like can only stabs and jump attacks hit them, or what? Well, at the end of the day, one of you's gonna die. It's gonna be the already dead one. Yeah, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. You say that sadly, but you know you're younger than me. I know I am. <laughs> That's what he said. The good always die young. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> Checking in case. Now we follow the path that we were given. And this is gonna lead us to one of the knights. Maybe it was this guy. I was right! He was dead! Circles. Circles, not squares. I couldn't take it. I hated it. The points. Ironically, my death was called because I was spinning in a circle. I was getting attacked by bats. How am I following you? <laughs> I'm lonely, please. You knew how to get out, but you didn't. Yeah, like... Well, that wasn't hard. No. I was, I was gonna say, wasn't the exit right there? Like, if you were really stuck, couldn't you just go backwards? <laughs> Secret! Secret. But if you all serve your Ocean King, by default you have to help, because you're dead. You don't have a choice. Yeah, what's this about convincing? Like, what are you gonna do, fold your arms and be like, No, I'm not giving them material. But we need it. Well, okay. No, I don't want a magic open the door. <laughs> this will dispel that cyclone in front of the Cobble Kingdom. That's that second island. This was the easy half of this. The Isle of Ruins is the tricky one. Yeah, if I recall correctly, this kind of goes on for a while. Too long, even. Oh, boy. Oh, that is not a spin attack. <laughs> That's gonna be a victory dip into the lake. Oh my god, leave. Please let me sleep, <laughs> even though I was already asleep. Hi, how's it going? 
So I ate like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza Joe has no response as to go to the next door. You know if you swallow fast enough you can't hear them scream. <laughs> the Isle of Ruins. Yeah, that's that's just my house. <laughs> I mean you could you could call me that too. It's not really that weird. Here I'm realizing that treasure is just stuff that I knocked off of the pirates. <laughs> well, hey, they were being dicks in the beginning. They didn't know the pirate code. Don't attack other pirates. And I know somebody's gonna be like, Yoshi, about how pirates work. I know how they work. <laughs> we don't have our ID card. <laughs> Tetra had it on her person, and now she's a stone. Yeah, so now, like, her card is... Like, well, it's, not, it's like null and void now, not because it's broken, but it's because you can't read it. Maybe we could just tie her to the prow. <laughs> Be like, look who we're with. <laughs> and they go, oh, Tetra, we don't know who that is in this dimension. Attack. All right, this is another part that I definitely cut down considerably. I was probably here like an hour. It's straightforward at the start. Being all ruins, most of it has flooded. So it's mostly just a straight path to the temple up in the top left. Now, I only ever beat Phantom Hourglass once, but I recall this part taking the absolute longest time. Aside from the Ocean King Temple. Yeah, cumulatively, that's like half the game. Yeah. Oh, come on, the sword's on fire. Can't the wooden shield burn? Ah, that felt great. <laughs> ah, thanks for getting that thing on my back. Why am I bleeding? <laughs> Time to go killing! <laughs> oh, uh, so what we've already been doing? Okay. There's a lot of stuff we can't reach. Like a lot of signs. Oh, there's also a lot of rupee likes around here. Don't trust any rupees. Yeah, for sure. Especially since, well, on top of losing your money, you'd fall in the water, and that's damaged. And blowing up your face. Well, yeah, but that's okay. That's like. That's just like part of our credo, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while since you took a dip, Pizza Joe. You know what? I'm not even mad about it. You need a bath. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you do hang out with, I believe, uh, the embodiment of a living stain. <laughs> I'm like if motor oil can feel. <laughs> not very well. <laughs> Nerve damage. <laughs> We're here too! <laughs> hello, hello! Hey, uh, yeah! Uh, uh. Oh, almost fell. Pizza Joe, you know what sleep paralysis is? Alright, imagine being all of that all the time. That's me. <laughs> I don't know how I'm moving. <laughs> You know how, like, your sleep paralysis demon sometimes tickles you in the thigh? <laughs> no? <laughs> I've had some weird sleep paralysis hallucinations. They really like poking me. 
Yeah. <laughs> Got out of bed the other day. The other day. That was a mistake. <laughs> Got out of bed on the bidet. <laughs> I got out of bed at the day and uh sorry I have like brain damage up here. <laughs> I've tried eating other brains, but nothing happens. <laughs> she was just like, why do we Let's do it anyway. <laughs> These really cool, amazing ruins... Why are we here? You see the sacred chins grow. <laughs> God, it really is. Maybe I did read it right. <laughs> he had a golden tooth. <laughs> Our beloved King Angry used to be pretty mad. Stop breaking my shit. Stop breaking my pots. Get back here. <sighs> <laughs> It's like object permanence, but once someone leaves, he passes out. <laughs> Why are you moving Pizza Joe's neck like <laughs> Just <laughs> crack, right next crack, to him. Crack. Mini blends. Oh, hey guys. Now where's the skull hammer? Oh yeah, he doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> Funny you mention that, though. Oh, yeah? Ooh. An impetus to watch the next part. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they don't, the bodies don't freak out. They're just like, yeah, this is fine. That's cool. What do I care? I can't feel. I, I mean, if I can't even see myself falling, does it really matter? I could fall, but I don't see myself falling. <laughs> I'm too confident in myself. I'm too confident I physically can't. Ah, oh, goddammit. I like how the shield actually blocked when you weren't facing him. <laughs> I appreciate that sometimes the skulls just fall in the water anyway. <laughs> Fucker, dick. <laughs> that was a well-timed throw, but also dick. They shouldn't be able to hit you before you can see them. <laughs> Especially like when you were descending down the steps before it hit you. Haha. <laughs> huh. I'm ever so slightly facing them. <laughs> You know, Pizza Joe, I think you just made a mockery out of, like, every adventure movie that takes place in a temple ever. This is like, you know, the, the walls always shoot out, like, poison darts or something, and he's just, well, I brought a shield, trap door opens up, and he's just like, well, how about I just walk around it? Indiana Jones is an Indiana joke. <laughs> My eyes have become dislocated in time. <laughs> Some say it holds secrets. Some. Those being, you know, the people who are ghosts. This guy. <laughs> Him. Alright, that road where I saw the mini blends was like, nope, that's a shortcut back. So don't take it until you've got the key. 
or else you'll have to do the whole thing over again, including that conversation. <laughs> he forgets you were there. He gives you a second key. You know, some people say that it has secrets. Oh, okay. The secret is there's a second one. <laughs> you know, we kept it under the mat when we had one. But what that does... Wait for it, is empty all the water. And this is where this island gets long. <laughs> Max. Max? Just Max? Like, the names get slightly less impressive with each one. It was like King Muto, and then Max. <laughs> Dave. I mean, we're named Pizza Joe, but that's our fault, you know? Like, we <laughs> we did that. So Pizza Joe named himself. Whatever his parents <laughs> named him, he rejected. <laughs> I mean, I was always under the impression that his whole family was pizza-based. <laughs> At least that's what we called her Pizza Graham. I like the idea. His family is pizza based. <laughs> that could mean many things. Maybe they're in the business or that's their biological composition. <laughs> pizza Pizza Joe and Pizza Jane are in fact part pizza. It's canon now. Their poor brittle Parmesan heart. <laughs> they bake pretty well in the sun. Damn, Pizza Joe, look at you. We're being able to roll boulders now. Without losing control. And having it roll back and crush you. <laughs> and without bracelets. So the reason this island takes so long is because there's a lot of secrets. And it's very wide. Now that the water's gone, you've got a lot of ground to cover. Oh man, the one thing it can't do. I was gonna be so happy if you were able to like grab one of the skulls. It actually took me a while to realize I also need to roll that boulder downwards, so I'm gonna come back to that. But there's a gem hidden over here. Nice. This was like 10 minutes later. <laughs> no, no, that's that guy's just dead. Okay. <laughs> you killed my pet rock. <laughs> that was so soul crushing, I, I'm not going to react to it. It was his soul. <laughs> his poor key. <laughs> or his horcrux. <laughs> I like the idea of a horky, of a horky though, like a watered down version of a hork. <laughs> oh, where'd you keep this one? Uh, under the mat near the garage. Fuck! Anybody can break and kill me though. So this is where those stone tablets were. There was actually stairs underneath. We need to read these in order to get another pattern. I don't believe it's just an hourglass again. I think it's something different. If it was an hourglass again, I'd be disappointed. I review you two stars, piece of Joe. Go away from me. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, but sheesh. It's too bad they can't actually suck in the bombs. Yeah, you think that would have that would have been my first guess too. It's just like here, have this, but no, it just hurts them. Dump. <laughs> well, it has been a while. They did get one rupee. 
quit chewing on my shoes. <laughs> it almost sounded like quit chewing on my shoes. Quit chewing on my shoes. <laughs> being really cautious about that green one. <laughs> and that one. Five stars, Pizza Joe. You're on your way to heaven. <laughs> yeah, it, what? <laughs> I've peaked. I have nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, that'll be my review of life when I have to rate it. I peaked. Now the crest isn't actually for over here. It's actually over near the temple. So that's another reason this takes a while getting around here. Because you need to find the crest in order to get to the dungeon. Damn it. <laughs> it was taking some damage around here, so I switched over to the Spirit of Wisdom for some extra health. Well, it is very pretty looking. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> A lot of gems around here. They really want to make sure you get all those upgrades. Like I did. Oh, wait. I didn't. <laughs> Damn loading zone. <laughs> I know it's because of the loading zone, but it's like, hey, what's what is that a cricket over there? No. Do I hear my mom calling me for dinner? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have one of those. <laughs> oh, it's just pizza Graham drowning in soup. <sighs> yeah, was, uh, hey Graham. I would question why you're here, and I should be more worried, but, uh, not. <laughs> I like how there's just one tiny plank of wood right there. When I left home for the last time, I left you behind forever. That was Pizza Jane, by the way. Is she doing good? I'm proud of her. <laughs> I also don't miss her. <laughs> Don't tell her, I dropped her telescope. <laughs> I hope she does well in pirate college or whatever she's doing. What the hell would her midterm have been? <laughs> Making the Jolly Roger of the flag. Which would be just be a, an image of a pizza. <laughs> So she's not even getting to do the fun piratey parts of pirating, she's just sewing. <laughs> that's that's gonna be on the uh, second semester. Semester one's kind of the, you know, pirate 101 sort of thing. You're the swabby, you have to do all the junk. Yeah. But by the time you get to your third year, then you're firing the cannon. Yeah. Then they let you do the cool pirate stuff. This is a long roundabout way of saying, so yeah, Nico was a freshman pirate dropout, and that's why he's <laughs> suffering through his whole life. <laughs> he's also a deadbeat who can't move on. <laughs> freshman forever. <laughs> I too am a 65-year-old freshman. <laughs> there's undergrads and then there's ungrads, and that's Nico. <laughs> <laughs> there's undergrads and then there's unfortunates. <laughs> Alright, but the secret image is just that. So like a a hanging flag or a banner? I guess. Looks more like a square Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Squ 
squack, man. <laughs> squack a squack a squack. -a. <laughs> I can't wait to play Mrs. Squack, man, who's the same thing, but with a square bow. I didn't mean to attack from the front that time. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. That is the dungeon, and we'll be taking care of that next time. That is the dungeon, and now the dungeon to the actual dungeon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the plus side, the actual dungeon is quite fun, and I really like the weapon that we get. Well, that's cool. It's a good way to counterbalance, uh... I mean, it wasn't as horrible as I remembered, but... We did see an edited version of it, but I do remember <laughs> it taking quite a while when I actually played it. Part of it is it's difficult to get around. Like, if you fall down onto the lower levels, you have quite a path getting back up. Then and I certainly remember, like, going up and down parts of the, uh, different loading zones, and it's like, oh, all that's here is a chest, gotta trudge your way all the way back. Yeah, they did hide a lot of chests in the areas that were flooded. Well, I uh, can't wait to see more of this temple, then. It ends it on an interesting and kind of enjoyably bizarre high note. <laughs>